Memory is an antibody array technology platform for the early diagnosis, prognosis, and monitoring of cancers and autoimmune diseases based on serum protein biomarker signatures. A standard blood sample is all that's required to perform a test. We've designed microarrays with 300 to 500 human recombinant single-chain fragment antibodies. The platform targets both the immunoregulatory proteins and the cancer-associated antigens. IMRAY creates a biological snapshot of an individual's immune response by analyzing serum proteins that change as a sign of disease. So the IMRAY platform was born a long time ago. It was started as an EU program with a team of people developing multiplex uh, platforms. Uh, over the years we've done 16, 17 uh, clinical trials, tested thousands of patients, developed the platform to the state we have today where Immunovia now is commercializing it. In spite of all the development in the cancer area, we still lose patients to several types of cancer simply because we have no means of diagnosing them in time. The mapping of the human genome and next generation sequencing has given us plenty of tools that are great for determining risk of disease for the patient. However, assessing the current state of the disease has lagged behind in development. The goal of the development of tests based on IMRAY technology is to provide clinicians with the means to diagnose early asymptomatic stages when the cancer is still treatable, as well as test for therapy monitoring, based on a single drop of blood. Genomics, or next-gen sequencing, is really a way of predicting risk of acquiring disease in the future. Proteomics has always been here and now. What is the state of the patient today? What diagnosis can we give today? Pancreatic cancer is the fourth leading cancer-related cause of death, estimated to become the second in 2020. The only way to cure is through improved early diagnosis. Pancreas cancer is detected at late stages when more than 80% of the patients are not eligible for surgery due to locally advanced or metastasized disease. Genetic data suggests a time frame of five years from tumor initiation to metastasis, which points towards a window of opportunity for early diagnosis if biomarkers would be available. The largest improvement in cancer care today would be if we could detect the, the disease earlier, because then treatment uh, could be handled with, with the technology of today and survival rates improve significantly. An example of this uh, is pancreatic cancer, where um, patients diagnosed uh, today only have a 6 to 12 median survival and a very low 5-year survival rate. If we could detect it, say, 6 to 12 months earlier, uh, over 50% could be saved instead of three to five. Protein-based biomarker blood tests have encountered some major problems during the years. The first problem is associated with the stability of the antibodies. Previously, antibodies tended to denature when deposited on a solid surface, meaning that they are no longer functional and can thereby no longer uh, detect the potential biomarker in the blood. We have designed a new generation of recombinant antibody fragments that survive these harsh conditions. In fact, they thrive when deposited onto a solid surface. The second problem is the classical trade-off between sensitivity and specificity. An assay that displays a specificity and sensitivity of 100% is perfect, while an assay that displays results in the range of 50% is as good as guessing or flipping a coin. Traditional assays, such as single biomarker tests, often have to make a trade-off between the two. However, IMRAY PANCAN-D displays a specificity and sensitivity over 95%, thanks to its unique multiplex design and bioinformatics. The final challenge is to find a set of biomarkers that can detect the disease early, in time for treatment, Immunovia uses a series of algorithms involving a process called backward elimination to overcome this final challenge. In the body, the immune system is the first to react to disease and the natural place to look for change when trying to diagnose a patient. But there are tens of thousands of proteins in the blood 
and most of them could be potential biomarkers signaling disease. In the development of a new multiplex test, Immunova selects 300 to 500 of these proteins and puts them on a chip. The Imray software is then trained to recognize the clinically relevant biomarkers using known patient samples. The algorithm we use remove one biomarker at a time while testing the performance of the others. This particular biomarker is then included in the data once again while another one is removed. When the performance of all biomarkers have been tested, the biomarker with the least information is removed from the data and the procedure is repeated until only one biomarker is left. In principle, by disregarding one biomarker at a time, continuously removing the least clinically important one, the algorithms find the set of biomarkers best separating the positive patient samples from the negative patient samples. Usually, around 15 to 25 biomarkers are found. Their individual signal intensities and intergroup relationships can be used for diagnosing, prognosing, and therapy monitoring the disease through highly accurate serum biomarker signatures. Often, achieving sensitivity and specificity in the range well over 95%. We are currently refining and validating our IMRE PANCAND biomarker signature for early diagnosis of pancreatic cancer in a very comprehensive study. We have addressed everything from the antibody design, surface structure, choice of surface, to how to handle the samples, how to run the assay, and most importantly, how to do the bioinformatics. We are going to follow two tracks. One is going to be the implementation of the test in reference laboratories and private cancer clinics in the US, Europe and Japan, followed by other countries. The second track is going to address rules and regulations for reimbursement to gain regulatory approval. Several clinical validation studies will be performed in the near future. These studies will also include patients from other parts of the world with different genetic backgrounds. The retrospective studies that is done so far have now shown that we could distinguish pancreatic cancer patients from normal individuals or healthy individuals. We have recently made a collaboration with Oregon Health and Science University uh, which has got a donation of one billion US dollar for early detection of pancreatic cancers. Long term, we are planning to introduce new tests based on the INRAE technology. Discovery studies have been done for uh, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and also we have a program for autoimmune diseases. We are working closely with patient organizations and regulatory bodies because we want to introduce the test in national guidelines. This is going to benefit the patients and their families all around the world. This is a fantastic platform uh, of creating multiplex protein tests that, that can actually change the world for patients and increase uh, the survival of, of many situations where today there are no solutions. So the driving force for me personally is to take all the science, all the money we put into science, all the efforts, all the sweat, uh, and make a difference for society, for the patients, for the cancer patients.